So, today we've done an octopus resist painting. Now, I have never seen an octopus at the uh, seaside. Um, I've seen a jellyfish, but never an octopus. But actually, when you go to the seaside, often there's a sea life centre, isn't there? And um, you can see little octopuses in the sea life centre. I think that should be octopi, shouldn't it? Anyway... What we're going to do now is we're going to make uh, an octopus out of a toilet roll tube. And the first thing we're going to do is cut up to probably about halfway. And we're going to make enough cuts so that uh, there are eight legs. So what I did was I cut two cuts to make it into two halves and then... Uh, in each half I cut halfway long to make it into quarters and then in each quarter I cut another um, half so that eventually there were eight legs and what we're going to do is we're going to curl them up like this so that the octopus will stand up on its little curved legs. So I've painted my oct octopus pink um, and I'm just waiting for it to dry now. I used acrylic paint today um, which has given it a lovely thick matte coat. But I, um, toilet roll tubes are really porous so any kind of paint would work really well. What I liked about the idea of acrylic paint was that I could uh, put different patterns on once they first base layer is dry so on top of my pink I'm going to add some white spots or swirls something like that. Okay so this is my completed octopus. I added some white spots oh. to him and I gave him some eyes and a mouth. I'm also going to use a similar technique to make a jellyfish and this is my jellyfish that I've also made with a toilet roll holder look can you see he's got lots of wool making his jellyfish tentacles so all i did with him was oh we're going out of focus that's it i just painted him and i added some holes in the bottom which i threaded wool through when he was dry and um, i gave him some eyes and a little mouth and now he's my wiggly jellyfish look Ooh. What could you make out of toilet roll holders or bits of cardboard um, and junk modelling items that you've got in your home? Could you make some fish? Could you make some other beachy things? What could you make that reminds you of the seaside? I'd love to see uh, the things that you make. So please post them on our St Martin's Facebook page. I hope you have a great day. Um, of seaside crafts and fun. Bye-bye.